Hi guys, I wanted to take the time to make a quick video showing the differences between using Google Classroom with the Chrome browser or the Safari browser versus using Google Classroom with the Google Classroom app. They look slightly different and it can be a bit confusing if you haven't used either one of them very much. So let's go ahead and watch the following videos and they're gonna take you through the two different versions of Chrome, Safari versus using the app. Okay, I'm gonna take you through a quick tutorial how to use Google Classroom from an iPad. So right now, I do not have the Google Classroom app. I am just using Google Classroom from either the Safari browser or the Chrome browser. I'm going to click on Chrome, and you can also do this in Safari. Either one will work. You're then going to click in the address bar classroom.google.com. That will take you to Google Classroom. Once you get there, you're going to want to look in the top right-hand corner and make sure that you are signed into the correct account. If you see your personal account or you see your parents' account, you need to find your Marble Falls ISD account. Once you're there, you're going to see all the classes that you are enrolled in. For instance, I'm enrolled in Miss Webb's class. To open up her class, I'm going to click on her name. Okay? At the top of your, your screen, you're going to see Stream, Classwork, and People. Your stream is where announcements are going to be posted from your teacher, maybe your teacher talking to you and asking questions. If you click on the classwork tab, that's where you will see all the work that she has assigned to you. To open one of those, you're going to click on it, and then you're going to click on view assignment. That can be a little bit tricky, so click on view assignment. When you open view assignment, you're going to have some new options. You're going to have directions from the teacher, and then you're going to have something to open. So you can open and view this link, and after you view it, if your teacher asks you to add something or attach something, you're going to hit Add or Create. At this point, maybe you're attaching a picture of your work, you're going to click on File, and then you will select a file from your device. It's going to ask you, so you could take a picture right then, or you could, if you already took the picture, you could hit Photo Library. Okay. After you have attached something for your teacher, you're going to click on Mark as Done. Okay. If you did not attach something, it's reminding you to please attach, and your teacher may not always ask you to attach something. You'll just have to read the directions. So I'm gonna click Mark is done. Now, if I wanna go back and see more assignments, I'm going to click on my teacher's name. So I just clicked on web, and that takes me back to our stream. To get back to classwork, I'm gonna hit classwork. Now, if you notice, this assignment is now not blue, but it's light gray. That means I have turned it in. Okay, now if you have, if you are enrolled in more than one class and you need to go check on a different class, you're going to click on the three pancakes in the top left and then you can pick a different class to view. So now I will go to social studies. Once again, you see your stream, your classwork, and your people. We are now switching to using Google Classroom with a Google Classroom app that you can download from the App Store. Okay, if you are using the Google Classroom app, it's gonna look slightly different than using Safari or Chrome. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the Classroom app. The first time that you open it, if you've never signed into it, it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Google account. So make sure it's the account that says marblefallsisd.org. And you can always check and make sure you're signed into the correct account because you'll see your picture at the top right of the screen. 
Once it loads, you will see all of the classes that you are enrolled in. So I'm going to go down and back to Ms. Webb's class so you can see what it looks like. And once again, you're going to have your stream, your classwork, and your people, but those are going to be at the bottom of your screen. So it looks a little bit different. So if you want to read any announcements Ms. Webb has posted, you'll click there. And then once again, you'll click on classwork. Now, I'm going to open up an assignment again. Now this is where it looks a little bit different than anything else. You're probably wondering, how do I add an attachment? How do I mark it as done? What you're going to do is you're going to click on that arrow at the bottom and that's going to pop up the mark as done and add attachment. So once again, you can click on add attachment. It's going to give you those options. If you want to take a picture or pick a picture off your camera roll, you can do that. And then you're going to mark as done. Now, to get back, you're going to click on that arrow again. And then you're on the assignment and it kind of looks like you're stuck right now. You're not stuck, just click the arrow over and that will take you back to your classwork tab. Okay? Once again, if you need to go back and look at a different class that you're enrolled in, you can click on the, the pancakes and then you can go to a different class. So I'm going to go back to that social studies class and show you what it looks like from this view. So once again, there is the different class that you're in. You've got your stream, your classwork, and your people at the bottom. Okay, once again, if I click on the pancakes again, I can choose a different class that I'm in or I can go and click on classes and see all of the classes that I'm enrolled in.